cool is this? Seriously crossing a rickety old bridge. Is that really a good idea? You know the bit earlier when you were commenting on how it was a lovely bridge? This isn't ideal. The Bramley line has brambles. Who would have thought, eh? <sighs> yes! Ah, oh, this is more like it. Some heritage. Seems the farmer here didn't really care much for this foot crossing, he's just shoved all the signs to the side of the field. Yeah, we just we lost at Cambridge, just messed this up. Hello Simmers, it's Samuel Beeman here at BLS with my good friends Dan and Jordan and Hi. Sam. I'm here too, hello. Down the back there. Today we're on the most exciting railway explore that we've done yet. We're exploring the Bramley line from March to Wisbeach. And as you can see, the track is still here. So what we're going to do is first uh, have a little look to the future, have a little look at March Station, and then we're going to head back here to explore the rest of the line. So here we are, March Station. The main platforms are behind me, platforms one and two. And uh, it's a very interesting structure because most of it is all still original. It has all of its old footbridge still here. Even the signal box near the crossing is still there. As well as some semaphores, the old goods shed, and a fantastic looking goods yard, which still holds a lot of goods trains, even to this day. The Ramley line uh, ran from platforms at 3 and 4 and you can just about make out the track as it uh, spurred off where it used to head down towards Wisbeach. So yes, it's, uh, it's a lovely building and uh, certainly probably one of the go-to visits of this railway line because just because of its historic value and, and the way it looks, it's just a lovely looking station, it really is. So here we are at the first crossing, uh, which is just up from March, and it's, it's really quite cool to be honest, the fact that it's all still here. We've got like the, uh, the lights are all there, and we've even got a phone in here. It's actually still in there. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is brilliant. I've removed some of the brambles from Oh, look at that. It's a sign that says the Bramley line on a totem. This is like the coolest thing ever, is it not? <laughs> this is insane. Actually insane <laughs> as if <laughs> here we see a whistle board in all its glory <laughs> how cool is this Oh. You haven't walked something like this before, have you, Sam? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Not to this degree, anyway. So, just a little backstory for you guys. 
uh, just if, in case you don't really know about this line. So it was uh, not recommended for closure in the beaching report of 1963, um, but the series of lines around Wiz Beach were sort of closed around sort of the 1960s onwards, and uh, it remained open to freight traffic until the summer of 2000. And this line was basically closed and disused uh, around about 2001. But the Bramley Line Heritage Group Trust are planning on restoring the line and opening it up as a heritage railway, which would be absolutely fantastic if they do that. So yeah, just thought I'll uh, read out a little bit of information about this line uh, to get you guys a general idea of what it is. If, uh, kind of hit our first obstacle as you can see we've got no route through so we're now going to have to uh, climb through a gap in the fence to get round it's all good fun isn't it on this railway exploring <laughs> what are you doing Dan? Fell over. you fell over <laughs> this is Dan trying to get through the gap in the fence Ow. can he do it? yes I can do it I caught my hood. I fell over. Did you? Well, I so oh, could be worse. Is he now going to recreate the incident? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a line side hut, look. Yeah. Look at that. Well, there's actually loads to see here. Brimming with stuff. Snippers? Oh yeah, to cut the brand. <laughs> Is that, do you reckon that's a steam here, a slime side hat? I'd ask those two, I Do you reckon that's a steam here, a line side hat, Jordan? Do you reckon that's a steam here, one? Nobody knows. We've got another fence to climb through. Basically now that we're kind of in, well, kind of battling brambles now, we're going to head over to the other side of the track alignment and try and, uh, well, get access to further down the line over the opposite side because this side clearly fails. Well, at least we started doing some of the trimming of all the brambles. The Bramley line has brambles. Who would have thought, eh? Jordan, why is it with you and jumping over fences? Huh. Got to jump over the fence. Oh, 
Why are you recording me doing this? He's recording well, everyone doing everything. Put your weight everything. on the post. With what? And then put your weight on the post on the... Yeah. On your arms. And then just form the foot over. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. My lord. It's in between my crop. F*** off, Sam. <laughs> Oh, that's clever. Now you said it's clever. Yeah, now I've got to do it. Yeah, come on then. Well, I'm not going to fail this this time. Oh, how on earth did he do this? Don't help him. <laughs> Some pheasants. Change your, you're putting your wrong, wrong foot down. Put the other foot up on that plate, right there. That's, that's it. That one. Swing the other foot over. Use the post to update your weight. And swing the other foot over. Ooh. Swing your... Ah. Yes! Yeah! I've yeah. done it. Farmer's crossing. Yeah. Oh look! You can see where the sign used to be, look. What, so do I want to open this as a heritage row? It's all underneath the brambles, most of it here, isn't it? But you can see the track and rails are still there, though. Yeah. Pretty cool, though, huh? We don't want to stand here too long without farm Yeah. Oh god, what is this? Oh my god, stop complaining. Stop Well, I missed the bit when we saw how they got feet. <laughs> There we are. Sorted. It's like we have a whistleboard coming up. Yeah. There it is. So that probably means we've got a crossing coming up. This is an ideal. Can't go under it. Oh no. Can't go over it. Oh no, we've got to build for all of Nice bridge though. Good, huh? Yeah. A little one. It looks sturdy enough to support us. Well, well let's hope. Up the hard way. You do realise we're going to have to do this next, Sam? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, we've got it easy. Well, yeah, because they've kind of passed the way, haven't they? Well, isn't this entertaining? Oh, Jesus Christ. You right? You okay? No, it's alright. Oh, wow, it's so great. Oh! Oh, that's a thing. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Have you found light at the end of the sun? Kind of, yeah. I found a ting though. Found a ting. Huh. Oh my god. Oh. Seriously, I've got a crawl under here, ain't I? Oh, is that it? Level crossing detector. Mm. Wicked. Are we seriously crossing a rickety old bridge? Is that really a good idea? You know the bit earlier when you were commenting how it was a lovely bridge? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not a lovely bridge then. <laughs> no, it looks to be 
alright, there's definitely worse for it. Is there a gaping hole through the middle there? To put it simply, yes. Do you want help over? Great. Um, you might. There is the gaping hole. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, it's like breaking apart as well. Like it's a piece of wood like broken apart here. After a very uh, dangerous attempt of going over that bridge, which was scary as hell, um, we've got to a cross in here. But the interesting part is that this looks like it's been tarmacked over. So if they're going to put the rails back over, then uh, they're going to have to untarmac it. Pick the road up. Yeah. And here we have some huts, whatever they were for and some junction boxes within the brambles. Excellent. Look at that. Made it back to the railway. We have some bullhead rail. Have you guys noticed the difference in rail? What do you mean? Well, this is bullhead. It's all been bullhead? No, the ones further back, when we start near the crossing, was slightly different, had slightly different chairs. So, found our first signal technically. It's a fixed distant. Distant? A fixed distant. And there it is, the sign. Glory. Can't really see it very well because of the sun, but that is it. Fixed distance. up ahead. We're not going to have an open track for very much longer. Mile post. Very nice. <laughs> and again, just over 20 years, so it's bound to be able to still be stuck around. Here we are coming up to another foot crossing, and uh, the signs have been nicked. Cool. 
Well, there's a sign that side though. Look. Where are you going? Get a picture, okay. You just realise that side's probably better because it's got the sign on it. One of the signs, just about readable. Penalty for not closing the gate, 50 pounds. Well, it's a good thing the gate's closed. <laughs> But you can just about like, because it's like so overgrown here, like with the long grass, you can only just about see where the track is. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think of it, Sam? Good? Yeah. Good. Jordan and Dan have scooted ahead of us. Crossing ahead, that sign says, right? I'm guessing that's what it means. Yeah. A sign. What does the sign say? Thirty-one wagons. Cool. It's like a freight version of a stop board. Didn't know they existed. And here we see a milepost that can be seen again on the track alignment. Pretty cool. The only thing that we do have is we are stretching for time because our train was delayed, well, the train was delayed for the start of the day so we're actually an hour late arriving at the Ramley line today and uh, yeah, there's no way that we're going to uh, reach Whiz Beach, it's just too far. Um, we're hoping that perhaps we could get to the sort of headquarters of the Ramley line heritage group to have a look and see what they have. Um, but again, it all depends on time really because we've got to get a bus back towards March Station for our return journey back home. So it's a bit hit and miss at the moment. We'll see how far we get. Stop board and yeah, some sort of building. What building is that then? Is that a line side hut or something? Or plate layers hut? It looks like a plate layers hut. Because if you can see it, I'm sorry, it's related to the crossing. It's got a door in it, so mm. unless no, I think I know what that is. Yeah. I reckon that's a base of a signal box. I reckon you're on the No, seriously, because there's a door in the side of it. Have you not noticed the stop button? Yeah. So. Well, yeah, but if you look at it, it's like it doesn't look like a plate it's layer's hut, does it? Like what even is it? Some pictures of them. Yeah. If anyone does know that, let us know in the comments. Let us know if that is the old former signal box. Would make sense considering we're coming up to Holden Station, or what was Holden Station. It's a more clearer view of the stop board there as we approach the crossing. The station would have been around here somewhere. Ah, oh, this is more like it. Some heritage. Look at this. Bramley Line Heritage Railway Trust, Whiz Beach March. And yeah, this is the Old steam era crossing, look at this. Oh, how cold is this? I think you can see the track in the road there. 
this side looks a little bit more worse than wear. Yeah. Do you know where the station was? Which side it was? It's probably this side, wasn't it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Ah. I reckon it was this side. I think it said on Google Maps it was this side. Just look at Brown Map online. Got a stop board in the brambles. And yeah, I, I would assume that the platform is over here somewhere. Although there's, there's not any way of making it out. Unless it was long gone. We've also got this post of some kind. I don't know whether it was like a signal post or something to do with the crossing, but it's there. Looks pretty cool. Another 31 wagon sign up ahead. Pretty awesome. Yeah. It's actually really good. And the price of Bridge. It's got flat, mate. Bridge can be seen. Does it actually taste good? If you do it right, yeah. yeah. Wind turbine city over there. Yeah. Enjoying the Bramley line, have we? Yeah. yeah. Just a disclaimer, folks. The last uh, station and crossing that we visited was not Holden; it was Colden. So, yeah. Bit of a mistake back there I made. It seems that the farmer here didn't really care much for this foot crossing, he's just shoved all the signs to the side of the field. Look at that. I mean, the wooden boards are still there, that's something. Yeah, all the gates, debris, etc. is all shoved over here, and you can see, you can even see concrete at the bottom of where it's been concreted into the ground. It must have took some serious machinery to get those out. Gangster <laughs> signs. Uh guys. No. Hot sec. We're definitely not stuck in there. No. Subscribe to British Locomotive Studios. Yeah, to be fair, I actually hope that we gain some subscribers and viewers in this video. Because we put a lot of effort into this, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We've put a lot of effort into this. Mm. So, sadly, we're going to have to call it, yeah? We haven't got time. The hour just look, we lost at Cambridge just messed us up. Yeah. Whee! Maybe we could do it another time. Yeah. If possible. Go down the other side, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll right, get to the heritage place next time. That's it. So we'll uh, we've got to get back to the bus. Yeah. I hope we make it. Dan's still in the puddle. Look at him. <laughs> And then Sam's all the way over there, walking through the bridleway. I'm just, in I'm just checking that I'm right down. Not too good for my life. Right. So then you can get yourself stuck. Mm. Okay, considering we didn't do an update when we uh, got the bus back to March, we've actually got the bus back. 
we're on our way, safe and sound, back home. Dan's already gone. And yeah, sorted. A good day, yeah? Yeah, not been too bad. I'm watching the boxing now. Oh. oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, had it ups and downs, but... Come on, KSI! Oh, is he playing it? Yeah, well, KSI will be fighting later on today. He's fighting Tommy Fury. Oh, wicked. What's tonight? I might have to watch that, then. You have to pay for it. Oh. <laughs> Want to see more railway exploring videos? Check out the Faversham Creek Branch video, a members only video which you can unlock by becoming a second man fireman member of our YouTube channel. Today we're in Jordan's neck of the woods exploring the former Faversham Creek Branch. Just look at all these vans scattered here, look. All old ex steam era vans, it's crazy. Somebody said to us that we should do some train spotting videos. Well, we're actually doing some train spotting here right now, aren't we, Jordan? 